Okay, this is a quick tutorial on uh, setting up a pivot table for a set of data so you can take a closer look at uh, the responses to a form, for example. Um, first thing you do is you go up to your data and you click on pivot table. And what that does is create another tab on your spreadsheet that is set up to analyze that data. Anywhere you click inside of this box brings up the report editor. Notice if you click outside of the box, the report editor goes away. It doesn't make any difference what square you're in. It's the same report editor that pops up there. You just need to be in that square. So say we wanted to set up a quick pivot table. I'm going to jump back here and look at, take a look at some of the questions. Say just, for example, where are you from? We want to get a quick uh, picture of where people are from and how many people are from different places. So go back to our pivot table and we're going to add that as one of our rows. Where are you from? And you notice it puts them in for you right there. Um, the next thing we want to do is get a count for how many of those there are. So now we're going to come down here and add a value of the same thing. Where are you from? You notice it puts in zeros at first because it's trying to do a calculation. Uh, it's trying to add them up by some, but there's not really numbers there. So we want to change it from looking for numbers to just counting the values. And you do that by clicking on the count A. Okay, and that now tells us that there were, uh, sometimes these lines are a little long, so it's, or there's double lines in there, it's good to stretch that out, so there you go, because some of those like northwest were showing up as two lines when they're really one. Another way to do that is to select the whole area and go ahead and put in your table on that whole area so you can see where the lines are. So that's now telling us how many people uh, submitted the form from Canada, from Colorado, the East, etc., all the different places, total of 77 different forms. You could do something as simple as creating a graph from this. So just over on the side here, I'm going to go insert a chart. And it says, oh, what data do you want to chart? So I'm going to select that. I'm going to just move that out of the way. The easiest way to select it, you can see it's selecting the data from the pivot table. And these are the values. But if I just come up here and say, I want to pick all of those, I don't need the grand total. So I'm going to give that a miss. And there we go. It tells us what kind of chart we can do. So if I were to look at a bar graph, that's kind of busy. It doesn't really show what we want. So you kind of have to play around, try some of the different options. Uh, there we go. A pie chart for this kind of information is working. It's showing that 70% of the people were from Eureka. What's the 6.5 is Northwest Montana. So that's where you might start to look at some of the the question options that you gave so that you can narrow those things down or have that data be more accurate but this does display what the actual data is. Uh, at that point I could go ahead and do some labeling of my chart. If I wanted to come over here and customize I can give the whole chart a title right and that will then show up as the title up here. I can change some of the font things for that to make that look better. I can also do some other changes. You just kind of have to play around with those. And once I insert that then I have that chart. I can then take that chart and insert it into web pages and print it or do many other various things with it. From here with a pivot table what you can do is add some other information into this uh, chart. So uh, again I, if I'm not in here I don't see the, the uh, edit report editor but if I click anywhere in here like I said it doesn't make any difference uh, it pops up the report editor. So now I'm going to add some more data in here. I'm going to tell it to add a column and, and let me know uh, how often do the people from these different places watch sports. So there it gives me that. Again, sometimes it helps to select all of that and put the, chart, the lines in so you can see it. Another thing sometimes it's nice to do is to, you don't need the grand totals here. So you could just tell it, don't show me those grand totals and it takes those away. You can do that at the bottom as well if you didn't want those totals showing in there. And those are just things you can cycle on and off. Now what you've got is a chart that's showing from each of the different regions that submitted this form how often do those people um, play sports, right? So you can just keep stacking and changing things around. You can also take this data. I'm not sure what it's going to look like, but we can change this to a row and change this down to a column and whoops, kind of flips things around. Whoops, I think I did that wrong. There we go. And so now I've got the, the reverse of what we were just looking at, where it's got uh, how often people play sports and what areas they're from. So it's a different way of looking at it. And sometimes as you change data around, that makes sense. This is a really quick intro to pivot tables, but play around with them and uh, see what you can come up with.